Okay, uh, welcome to my another tutorial. Uh, in this uh, opportunity, I would like to create this one. This is the plate which is come from the movie Lion King. So it's basically just a simple plate which is we are going to uh, get started. Okay, click a new design. I use the canvas for this image and then I select the place here I choose the image and then the image I previously download from the internet okay just click open and then I just click OK so from this image uh, I'm going to calibrate so if we see in canvas here I can choose calibrate and then I just click to the it from the top view okay right click okay. right click calibrate from here to here I use 150 okay and then I create the sketch to the same plane as the canvas okay and then I create the polyline from the uh, beginning here. Okay, I look from the top. Okay, one, two. So basically, this is just a tracing of the image here. If you like to more precise, you can put a more point in here okay but in this time i just want to create like uh, the shape which doesn't need to be very accurate okay i use an ellipse to this footprint here okay okay and then this ellipse i also can click a drag here okay create another here here okay continue here okay and here I just click and drag to adjust the size uh, here here and then right there just adjust okay okay I think it's uh, okay and then I also want to create the outline so I just turn off my canvas to make better clear uh, image okay okay this is I uh, I don't use any dimension at all because it's just a shape that I capture from this uh, image but the overall shape it should be like uh, this uh, picture so this doesn't need to be hundred percent accurate or precise okay okay you you can also find adjust if there is a not correct shape or a bit ugly you still can adjust this shape according to your preference okay this one will be a little bit bigger okay this one is okay okay, okay because as you can see here the footprint is also usually uh, a bit abstract it's not 100% accurate okay I think it's done I click finish and then I just do the extrusion this one here 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 and here I use a uh, 25 
and I do I want it to be a little bit have a taper angle so a bit have an opening in the uh, near the plate the lips of the plate the top part and I turn on the sketch again and then I continue with the fillet in the bottom here one two three four five I use maybe ten okay yeah I think ten is good and I make a create a shell to this all of this uh, use the thickness maybe two inside okay yeah I think two is good and then I create a sketch in the top of these lips here and I project my sketch the outline here and this one this one the outer uh, edge of the shape here okay okay finish sketch and I just extrude minus two but you should use the join and then because there is a draft angle over there so you need to fill this gap here okay so I use uh, 5 degree okay and then I click OK okay Okay, so the shape basically is uh, done and then for the lips here I use the fillet here one two three four five I use one for the radius and then at the back I also use the fillet one two three four five okay I use uh, 3 for the value okay and then I also want to add the pipe in the outer over there I use 1 and then I create a join so there is if you can see here I create a bit of a pipe over there so it's give the rounded effect okay just click OK and I add another fillet maybe 0 0.5 is to avoid the sharp edges okay 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 uh, usually we want to measure how much the volume of this uh, each of the individual uh, cavity here so you can do by you can create a patch to the boundary maybe like this one and then i just click ok so there is a surface over here okay so based on this surface i will create the boundary field to this one and also to this one and i create a new body and then I will select the cell okay I think that one will be good okay I just click OK so basically they just create a body to this one so this body we can see how much the properties see there is a mass no mass because this one is uh, physically from the steel but I just want to capture this one this is the volume so basically when you want to measure um, this cavity you can use the method like that so we can see how much the volume of this uh, cavity okay okay I will continue with the we want to create the image as you can see here there is an image okay so we use the decal here and then I click the face here I select the image uh, let me search I already 
I already download the image uh, uh, this one okay okay so this decal you can adjust the size and then you can adjust the position as you like maybe this one like that and then a little bit down okay yeah so this one is already there and then I want to put another more here image okay this one when you choose the image for the car make sure that you choose the transparent background image okay or maybe if you want to create a little bit bigger you can adjust the size and they will initially fill the to the over here so you can adjust okay like that yeah okay so i think uh, we are almost finished and then if you continue to the rendering in environment you can render this image okay here i choose the material so i choose the plastic for the material uh, transfer one maybe i choose like this one just click and drag is a uh, white and then for the internal i use the face here and then i also choose the maybe i use a uh, yellow here one two you just click and drag but make sure you choose the face for the selection okay there okay 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 from this one you can just hit uh, in canvas render or maybe you want just to adjust the lightning uh, the scene setting you can increase the value of the brightness maybe five okay and then this one is a uh, upcoming the light you can adjust the light from the any direction that you want it and also you can set the camera how much the focal length exposure etc and then just close and then you just do the rendering okay they will render through the position here you can adjust also if you want to be the final render or to be the infinite so they were basically rendering to the iteration uh, and then this is the elapsed time this depend on the your computer how much the uh, powerful how much powerful that's your computer is uh, essential to this uh, rendering method I will skip up for the rendering okay uh, now we are almost uh, more than half to the rendering uh, elapsed time so but I want to end up this video from here and then thank you for watching and then make sure that you keep your thumbs up and then please subscribe and share my video. Thank you. Bye-bye.